try to go see sea animals. Not just sea animals, Sarah's favorite. We have to rush a little bit, so that's why we're doing a quick intro. We had free breakfast though. A lit breakfast. Coffee, fresh juice, bread. Take it all day. We're ready to go, guys. Suited and booted, everybody. Suited and booted. So the tickets that we got included a trip to this museum and then two beaches that we get to go to that no, will show. It includes show. a lot. We're just gonna go to two of the beaches. I guess it includes a lot. It includes a lot of like destinations. So never mind. It does not include the museum. It's an extra ten soles or what? How much? Siete soles. Siete soles. It's like one fifty dollar fifty. Y'all good. The camera's picking that up, but all that sand is red. And this is known as La Playa Roja. It looks a little brown. I think with the sun it looks more red. Yeah, but I mean, in person you can tell that it's red. Yeah, you can tell. I wish we could go down on it though, that'd be pretty cool. I think dope. you can over there. I have people coming out of the water. Let's go check that out. This doesn't feel like regular sand. It's like it's like clay, but like I don't even know how to explain it. It's just so weird. What are you doing? Get some sand out. So what happens when he doesn't wear chancletas? These are my chancletas. The most com comfortable chancletas you'll see in the game. Simple foods. 
So now for our English viewers. 45 viewer. soles. What's it? It's 15 dollars. Yeah, but it's but expensive it's for like soles. Like, yeah. nah. But you could get those for like 22 soles at yeah. another yeah, restaurant in Lima. Yeah, exactly. Watch as the crab slowly makes her way to the water. Will she walk in? Will she get her feet wet? Find out next time. Welcome back to Endangered Species. As you see, the crab has still not made her way to the water. Will she go in? Will she keep her stance? All right, ladies and gentlemen, the waiting is over. She has made her way. People, do you see this? This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. I was standing on my rock, minding my own damn business, and Sarah decides to run after me as she's in the water already to tell me that it's going to get wet. And then she <laughs> knocks me I off the rock. At you. And now my feet are soaked. Thanks, babe. He hates me. Look at this. The change. Outfit change. We're at Ica now. We're going to see the Wakachina. Who's that? This, all this, this little area. It's like the little lagoon with a little town. Nice. We're going to do the sand dunes. What are we going to do at the sand dunes? Maybe some sandboarding. Maybe what's the other thing called? The with the carts. ATV? Maybe ATVs. Tell the people why you went with this vibe. This fits the dunes. Dunes? Oh, oh. Oh, rough rider? What's up with your vibe? Gotta represent, you know what I'm saying? DC, chilling, villain. What's up with the what are those? What? You don't fuck with the shorts? The shoes. The shoes are my beaters, leave me alone. He brought Still his beaters to Peru. Still well, I'm gonna bring my fancy shoes and this fucking dirt. Yeah, I brought Stan Smith's, I don't know why. Yeah, you're faking on yourself. Well, was, these are the 700s. You're super fake. I didn't bring any beaters. It's okay. Daisy, Daisy's gonna get him out the way. Oh, shouts out to Daisy. Little snack before we hit these dunes. Some mango strawberry shaved ice. I'm getting a water. What y'all know about that Adidas sand collab though? We're out here. We're about to do this thing. Go on this fucking thing. You scared? <laughs> We couldn't show you the ride because it's bumpy as hell, but this is our first stop. So much fun. It's oh literally like a roller coaster. I'm not gonna lie, I'm shitting my pants. But look how beautiful, like how are we here right now? I do not understand. It's fucking sunny though. All right, take your time. You know what that means. If you ever do this, don't look down. Don't look down. You're gonna die. <laughs> But it's fucking awesome, like so worth it. Solo dolo film. Not gonna lie, this is pretty scary, but the view is worth it. The ride is really, really fun, but scary at the same time. It's scary because I don't want it to like flip over or something. Trying to 
make his way up there, my cousin. Will it happen? Who knows? Sarah, you ready to do that? Yeah, there's no way I'm doing this. I'm sorry. Call me whatever you want. <gasps> <laughs> Doing it? She's contemplating whether or not to do this. So she's freaking out, guys. Freaking the fuck out. Yay! Get it! Yeah! That was scary. But it was fun, right? Yeah. Round two. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wasn't so bad, was it? No, it really wasn't. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! This brings us to the end of our journey here at the Sand Dunes. It was a great fucking time, and Sarah and I highly, highly, highly recommend this. Made it to our hotel. Now I'm gonna go eat. We're eat. not. We're not gonna bring the camera, cause just now. No. We're gonna let it rest. Exactly. Too much filming. Too much. Too much. Before we start anything, I have to say that this freaking shit sucks ass. This one sucks, this one sucks, this one is okay, but it still sucks. She's not showering, guys, she's just washing her feet because it's sandy as hell out here. Sand is everywhere! So, we'll see how the day goes, but just know, that shit sucks. place that has like a resort, a restaurant, and like I don't know what else but my cousin said it's worth driving here for so we're gonna see what it is, what it do. What it is, what it isn't. You know what I'm saying? Out here. This is her own home. Straight chilling, like it's. It's tu casa? Mi casa, tu casa. <laughs> it's amazing though. It's Sarah if she was a palm tree. So we're getting sick. Yeah, if you guys can't tell, our energy is very low. Which wasn't planned at all, but shit happens. We got headaches. I, I, I'm fine all year round. I'm at home. I could be next to a guy that's cuffing up blood and phlegm and everything and like puts it inside my mouth and I'll be fine. As <laughs> soon as I go on vacation, I get sick. Like this happened when we went to Europe too. I was sick for like three days. But and you got everybody else sick. I pushed through. Got everyone else sick. Got all the girls sick. Yeah. But whatever. It happened. Oh, it just time, sucks because it's like... It's warm, so when you're sick and it's warm, it's like the worst. We're gonna try to push through. We still have a little bit left for today. They wanna, my cousin wants to take us to see some other place. And then we're gonna go home finally. Grandma has soup waiting for us, so that's gonna be yummy. Well, then we're gonna pass the We fuck need out. like 20 hours sleep. Some airborne, some emergency, some medicine, some tea, the whole nine yards. Literally. I'm not gonna lie, this place is beautiful. But I'm it, Oh shit, there's a donkey. We just found a donkey. Yeah. He might kick me. <laughs> Shia. <laughs> to get off our get off my property. 
Straight up. Where did this donkey come from? <laughs> no leash. Okay, bye. <laughs> Man's is feasting out here. He is a hungry guy. Little beebs on her swing. Hey. You having fun there? I really am. <laughs> This place is so like calming, like I feel like because you're like suffering with like anxiety or depression, like I think this should be a rehab facility. Right? They have animals, they have a pool, they have good food. It's crazy. It's so like relaxing. You can't, all you hear are like birds. Seriously. And some room five in the back, which is really annoying. Ow, like a light. We're sick. Update. Shit sucks. Shut the hell up! Dog keeps barking over there. But yeah, we got sick um, coming back from the trip. I'm not showing my face because I look dead. Oh, thanks for you sent me out. Whenever you travel, make sure to take... Airborne? Airborne, emergency, something. We fucked up, we didn't take one. And now we're sitting here like this for two days. On the weekend. On the weekend. Cállate!